progress and so I wanted to talk to you a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna start doing some RC videos I think. The whole tractor thing is just kind of on hold right now. Waiting for parts and all that. And that's what I've been doing a lot. That's why I haven't had a lot of videos out. So I figured I might as well get you some RC action. I want to make sure I pick my line right here. This is not your easiest crawl. As you can see how steep that is. This is the new Axial SCX-10 II. Highly recommended. It doesn't have really any torque twist. I'm running 1.9 rip saws. Cheapest tire I could find and I am not disappointed. I am fully impressed. And uh, just wanted to do a little running video for you guys. Sorry if I'm shaky, I'm have to use my left hand because I don't have a cameraman. I'm gonna try to make this as good as possible. Oh, my high center. That stick got in my way. There we go. Now this is where things get sketch. That big bumper definitely does not help. Ah. I am getting uh, wheel spacers all the way around to counteract that. The reason it's flipping is the way the um, back end so light, which I am going to weight this down. Unfortunately, with the 1.9 lift size that I'm running with the wheels, I don't think I can put wheel weights in unless I glue them and all that. It's just not worth it. So probably when I do weight the wheels, which will be eventually, I uh, We'll have to get new wheels and tires, but for the price I paid, $25, I'm not complaining. Hopefully this video isn't terrible for you guys. I wish I had a cameraman. I really do. But, not much you can do about that. I'm going to take a little line here and then we're going to end it. Now, how do I take this? Okay. That's right here. Uh, that stick might be a problem. Oh, we did it. Wow, look at that flex. Alright, this is where things get challenging. And surprisingly, it's not this part. These bumpers hang me up here. Oh, I'm stuck on the diff. Hold on. And this is where I got a power trail. You can see that bumper hung up. This is fairly easy in my opinion. Make those rips all work. Wait till it flexes down a little bit and then pump it. And that's, how, that's how she does. I'm really impressed. It's a good truck. Everything seems to be holding up pretty well. Hope you guys like this video. Of course it's not going to be the best. But talk to you later. Bye.